Hey guys, welcome back to Exotic Tea Blog. I'm back with another video. Before we get into this one, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell so every single time I post, you'll be notified. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you should keep doing shit for me and quickly tap the link down below in the description and also comment section to join and also subscribe to my second channel at Exotic Tea Blog 2. The number is that I also post there. Well, let's quickly dive into today's topic. So, Joe Biden was basically out here giving me her flowers but i want to talk about Nicki minaj first okay. just because of all of these sold out shows at prudential msg and the barclays, yeah, barclays. The queens uh that's impressive that's that's different three arenas in the same mm -hmm. city essentially mm -hmm. a lot of people can't do that that's crazy in a short time yeah, frame. Yeah, yeah. like drake came up here and did the five shows at the garden yeah. or something nuts mm -hmm. something nuts he mm -hmm. did he did like killed week, it like he was here for like a week and a half. Yeah. yeah. Multiple venues. And he did he did Barclays. He, Bar crazy. he did Barclays. Bar yeah. yeah. But for Nikki to for, for Nikki to do that, for her to sell a million records in mm. five weeks, um, fifteen outfit changes during the fucking show, the audience for it to not be, you know, she get a lot of slack for flack for the barbs and these little young teeny boppers. Mm -hmm. It's adults at these shows. Yeah, there's sure, people yeah. that started with her in 08, 09 mixtape Nikki, and grew, stayed, they, grew yeah, with her and stayed yeah. the entire time, and they out at the shows. Yeah, so you know, it's just a testament to what she's done, what she continues to do. I don't know if it's, this is a legacy act thing or just a, I don't know, but that, but Nicki Minaj should not should no longer speak to any any of her peers. Mm. They're not really her peers. Looking at the clips from the show, she shouldn't have words for no, no other woman in rap. Mm -hmm. They only her peers because she allowed them to be her peers in terms of competition. Like, she look, I'm still competing with y'all. Like, in terms of where we at on the charts. and, and But in totality, they ain't fucking with her. They're not her peers. It's, it's not a conversation if you really look at it in I agree totality. With that. Yeah, There's no. no conversation. None to be had. I agree with that. There's nothing that any of them can say or do today. Y'all still trying to catch up to my old shit. Up today, of all time. Shit. I'm just saying, y'all can't do nothing. You still, yeah. I'm still going. Yeah. See, the thing about a run, when you start comparing to somebody's run or something, that run got to stop. True. True. <laughs> so still, if I'm still, still in my run, she's still running. She's nothing running y'all can do. Like y'all started years after me, and I'm still here, and I'm still. I'm still above. Yeah. Yeah. No, we talk about. Something. So let me know if you feel about that down below in the coming. And also, Nikki also posted up the video on her Instagram page, asking Joe Biden and also thanking him for um the coming of everything he said. And really, I think Joe Biden was correct because I don't feel like Nicki Minaj needs to be linking up with this up and coming rap girlies again because they always seem to do the same thing every time she tries to help them um, linking up with the dots and also key keen and talking crap about her. But let me know if you feel about that down below in the coming moving on from there nikki also seemingly teased that she was going to be dropping the fuck the club up remix with sexy red and sexy was basically coming out here to respond to nikki and asking for a music video so let me know if you about this down below in the comment nikki also stated in another tweet saying that sexy red is the only female on the song she's gonna be putting out a remix with a male rapper fans have been coming out here to speculate that drake is going to be on the remix so i want all my barbs on this channel to come the fuck out because we finna get ready to support Nicki minaj and also push this record to the top y'all know how we do shit over here we going to always support the queen of rap so um if nikki choose to put out this remix with um walker flocker drake on sexy red i'm definitely gonna be supporting fans are still coming out here to speculate that ice spice was supposed to be joining sexy red on the fuck the club up remix but being the fact that she has left gag city i don't think she really got a ticket to be on the song but put your thoughts and your opinion down below and moving over to the industrial plastic bag aka the face changing alien cardi b fans are coming out to speculate that she is being botched and beat her again she unfollowed sexy red because i know she was following sexy red she unfollowed sexy red right after nikki did tease 
then she was going to be doing the um fuck the club up remix and most of the fans they came out here to say oh cardi b was not fully sexy bread cardi b was not doing this cardi b was not doing that i mean she literally unfollowed sexy red and i'm like damn girl you you still coming out here to prove and also you're not basing the allegation of being botched and bitter you was coming out here to be pain not only that it seems that she put out um a picture her fans are saying there is the ad work to her album let me know how you feel about this down below in the comment do y'all think this is the ad work to her album let me know how you feel about it down below and y'all can tell me um in the comment section there um do y'all think that picture is a great one to be an art cover because she was looking a hot mess no shade that was literally another face though and stop playing with me because y'all know that i'm not mexican and y'all do that shit for y'all do that shit to to thing to irritate me and not only do y'all don't call me a mexican y'all call me a dirty mexican so of course i'm gonna defend myself every single time you guys do it you're not gonna keep erasing my nationalities you're not gonna keep erasing how i am and i first of all i I'm, never in my life growing up did i ever heard and anybody call me a fucking mexican so it's like how the fuck when, when i was coming up y'all wasn't calling me that but now y'all do call me that so it's like yeah, I'm gonna say something about it because it's like that's not my nationality. That's not what I am. Respect my shit. Like yeah, everybody wants to get their shit respected. Stop doing that. Shit, I wish. I, shit, I wish I was fucking Mexican so I could have the cartel chop your fucking. Bitch. And yeah, goes the industrial plastic bag ranting up on Twitter again about the whole Mexican situation. And this time around, she said she doesn't like when people call her daddy Mexican. And y'all know who said daddy mexican nikki d exposed megan the stallion for calling her best girl a daddy mexican and we all know cardi b was megan's fan and also megan friend let me know if you about each down below and moving over from there aqua vd put out a sudden interesting tweet they got um staying twitter surprised because she said hey so funny got me looking at i'm sad with child so um this lyrics is from jt song sideways and she did post it at this ish um right after the whole ice spice and cardi b fiasco happened so it looks like the girlies are coming out to clock ice spice but anyways let me know your thoughts and your opinion about this topics down below like comment subscribe share and i'll talk to y'all in the next video and i'll see you thanks for watching